So what did one snowman say to the other snowman? It smells like carrots. Hello, Desmond. Hello yourself, Boxman. Do you mind? Oh, I insist. So you managed to fix the computer then, did you? The world's still here, ain't it? I'm not so sure about that, brother. Refresh my memory, Desmond. How long did you say that you were down there in the hatch? Three years. Desmond, what if I told you that for all that, all those years that you and all the men before you were down there pushing that button, what if I told you it was all for nothing? I'd ask you, how the hell did you know someone like that? I found another hatch, another station on the island. They called it the Pearl. And I saw a film there, an orientation film. And it said that everything that was happening in our hatch wasn't real, that it was a test, a psychological experiment. You're lying. You want to take a walk? I'll make the popcorn. You're so sure it's not real. And just stop pushing the button. Well, I have, except, unfortunately, someone else decided to start. So you're gonna sober up. And we're gonna get a good night's sleep. And tomorrow, we're gonna find out what happens if that button doesn't get pushed. Can I ask you a question, brother? Absolutely. Is the reason you're letting that clock there run all the way down to the very last tick? Is it because you need to look down the barrel of a gun and find out what you really believe, John? I looked down the barrel of the gun and I believed. I thought was my destiny to get into this place. And, and somebody died, a, a kid, because he was stupid enough to believe that I knew what I was talking about. And on the night that he died for nothing, I was sitting right up there, all alone, beating my hand bloody against that stupid door, screaming to the heavens, asking what I should do. And then a light went on. I thought it was a sign. But it wasn't a sign. Probably just you going to the bathroom.